Ooh, welcome and welcome back to the channel guys y'all see this chrysler town and country i think i want to say 2014 model well anyway guys i get here this morning and guess what's laying in my stall that's right the parts uh to this car okay and what parts that you see here guys uh i recognize this this is a torque converter okay and what is this this is a front pump okay these are the parts okay i don't see any gaskets or seal maybe i gotta go get the gaskets and seal this is a transmission front pump um problem i'm addressing guys is um y'all heard of p0740 uh what's the name of that code torque converter uh guy i can't think of the specific name i will put it in the description but at any rate guys these are the parts that are required to repair this car and that fault code okay one thing i want to mention um a lot of people ask me this all the time i uh, call myself i will answer it anytime but um uh, yeah they want to know what they will call me or they will uh, message me or ask a question in the comment section all right guys yes i get asked this a lot where is the tcc solenoid on the transmission on a uh, caravan or chrysler town and country well guys let me explain something to you that code p 74 oil on a generic scan to may read something like tcc clutch torque converter tcc clutch tcc stands for torque converter clutch okay so it would merely mislead people into thinking they simply need a solenoid to fix this code okay a torque converter solenoid now i want to be the one to tell you that it's not such the case on this particular year in this particular transmission there is no torque converter clutch solenoid all those functions are built on the valve body guys but that doesn't mean go out and replace the valve body just because you see this code okay uh i wouldn't get in the habit of uh replacing but although doing a valve body is a lot easier of course this had to come out a lot easier than removing the trans you actually have to take the trans out to do a torque converter on on this particular model but guys there is no such solenoid on a 62 te uh this 2013 model i want to say so uh man guys i'm a, i hate to be the barrel of bad news but the only success I've had with this code is merely uh, the torque converter. You have to replace the torque converter. Some way, somehow, the computer is picking up slippage inside of the torque converter. You know, y'all know there's uh, clutches inside the torque converter, okay? And yes, they wear just like any other clutch pack. So I have dealt with that code, try to get out around or get out of not removing the transmission to replace that part, just for the car to come right back okay so uh, a lot of transmission techs watches these video too i'll be the first to tell you guys you see that code on this year making model you will need a torque converter now the reason i write up torque converter and front pump also is because the torque converter of course ride on the pump uh, of course there's some seal rings around the pump and there's some little orange seals on the input shaft so i tend to replace all of that that's because that's what a torque converter is actually riding on but all the magic is happening inside the torque converter, guys. So stop looking for a solenoid to replace. There isn't one. In fact, while I'm at it, while it's on my brain, let me go to a computer and show you the diagnostics surrounding uh, that fault code. And, and then I can uh, show you or tell you the proper name of that fault code because it may show up on a generic scan to as a torque converter clutch lockup or something like that but now on a 41 te uh it, it's different okay in fact on an a604 the ac 4 and the 41 te are the same transmission but some of the electronics change okay so you just gotta read the manual and uh you know find out which car is equipped with it but I, again i only success i've ever had with this code is actually replacing the torque converter guys all right, let me go to a quick break, guys. When I get back, we're going to be on the computer. I'm going to show you what the diagnostic tree says about this fault code. All right, stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. I will be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. I have this up on the screen. What I want to show you, P0740. Now, I'm under a 2012 
Chrysler Town and Country with a 3.6. So this code could come off being named as TCC out of range, torque converter clutch out of range. Okay, now listen to this theory of operation. When in second, third, or fourth gear, the torque converter clutch can be locked or partially locked when certain conditions are met. The TCC piston is electronically modulating, modulated by increasing the duty cycle of the low reverse solenoid until the torque converter slip difference is within 60 mile per hour RPM. Then the low reverse TCC solenoid is fully energized. Okay, torque converter slip is monitored in the FEMCC to ensure adequate clutch capacity. The meal will eliminate it, which is the check in the light, will be turned on if the trans accumulates five minutes of inadequate torque converter clutch capacity slip while in FEMCC mode. That is very, uh, basically a uh, lockup mode. The transmission will still attempt normal EMCC operation, will not be in limping even after the meal is eliminated. Okay, so you see the theory of operation. Now, as far as uh, look at the possible cause, this is Chrysler now. This is not some generic book. Their possible cause is re related low reverse solenoid or pressure switch DTCs present. There is no other DTCs present. And these low reverse solenoids are basically built inside the valve body. Okay, there is a solenoid pack, but it's bolted to the valve body. Guys, none of this, to me, this is uh, exactly what they call in it a possible cause this is not the cause for this okay I think personally they should reword this whole diagnostic uh, this diagram guys okay um, what they want you to do check related DTC there is no related DTC's alright check if the DTC is current now the code never active guys it will set and just stay there but what happens is turn the lights on and that's what scares people okay so a couple of things they want you to check naturally the fluid and all that make sure it's not a wiring problem but when all else fail guys i'm telling you learn from my mistake do not waste a lot of time doing this i'm telling you from based off experience and i have plenty of it at this point in my career um yes this particular code will set if the torque converter uh slippage is picked up with the torque converter i i'm not sure what algorithm the TCM is using to pinpoint that but to me these two are what you need and of course the seals I mentioned earlier now push come to shove you don't have much money to work with you you can get away with this I tend to not that I'm wasting money uh, it's insurance guys I have yet for one to come back with this code reset after doing these two all right, so guys, I have a lot to do. I have to take this trans out. I would not film any of this because I have plenty of footage of me removing 62 2E transmission. Nothing very technical about it. Just a lot of, a lot of work. Okay, I already have the pan off. This been off overnight, so all the old fluid should likely be, not all of it, but uh, most of it should be have have been done gravity bled out by now. Um, and that's another thing, guys. You want to take a look, see. All this clutch material, I don't have my gloves on, but that's not bad. In fact, that is normal, but that is excessive clutch debris. And where that likely came from, guys, is, you guessed it, the torque converter. Again, sorry I don't have my gloves on, but that likely came from the torque converter. And now the computer is picking up the slippage. All right, uh, P0740, guys. So let me get to work. I have plenty of work to do. I'm going to try to finish this. It's not as bad of a job as it looked. It's just a lot of stuff had to come off the top and the bottom. So, guys, I have plenty of work to do. Let me get with it. Thanks for watching. Come and subscribe. Any of you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section. But I highly advise you to already be subscribed to the channel. Okay. Um, it's just something about subscribers' questions I love answering, guys. So, uh, please be subscribed to the channel and give the video a thumbs up, too. Okay, guys? Uh, thanks for watching, man. That's all I have. Comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video.